Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another mobile episode of Master the NEC podcast. My name is Paul Abernathy. I'm your host. And then if you're not familiar with this platform, this is the mobile edition where we don't have the fancy intros. We don't have all that jazz. We just simply have me and you talking mobile and talking about different topics. Uh, Today's topic, we're going to be talking about a question that is asked quite often, and it just recently was asked, was talk about the CMECP program a little bit uh, and what the benefits are. Why should I join it if I'm a master electrician? What's the real benefit behind it? Now, I'm going to start out by telling you that, and I tell people this openly, um, we do not want everybody to join the CMECP program. Um, It is not for everybody. It is not designed to be uh, a venture that makes tons of money for the company. That's not the effort. Um, it is a certification program that is only for those that truly understand the benefit of certification and marketing and how to market yourself as a professional amongst your peers. That That's what the CMECP program is all about. It was a program that was created to help take master electricians, whether they're, you know, whether you're looking for job advancement, promotion, uh, pay raises, how you use the certification is really up to you. It's not up to us. We don't make any guarantees that by completing the CMECP program, we don't we don't tell you that you know that you're going to get some license somewhere because licensing and certification is two different things. Uh, we're not here to tell you that you're going to uh, get any um, additional monetary benefit in your career or anywhere by having the CMECP certification. What we're going to tell you is that how you use it and how you leverage the CMEC program, uh, the CMECP program, how you leverage it is really up to you and how you're going to use it in your business. And it's not going to be the right move for everybody. One thing we can guarantee, though, is structure behind how you use your certification. In other words, we're a corporation here based in Texas, so um, and we have an ethics um, policy that states, you know, as far as procedural policy that states that when you go through the program, everything is recorded, everything is documented, all of your competency reviews, um, the time you're in the program is all kept track of. When you get to the proctored exam, it's recorded, it's kept, a recording is kept, um, and your grading is kept. Uh, And then, of course, when you do the essay, that type of thing, you do the essay, those type of things, all of that is kept in your file for documentation. Now, our only goal as a program, a certification program through our corporation. So this is issued through our corporation um, in Texas. Not a sole proprietor, not a um, limited liability. We are a legit corporation. Okay, You can contact the Texas Comptroller and you can validate that who we are. You can validate the corporation that we have um, the CMECP actually is protected marks by the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. So there's a lot of effort that's been put to establish the name uh, and, and what we stand for. So when you go through a program and everything is tracked, everything is documented, what it's doing is, is holding you out uh, to, to have a high level of education when it comes to learning the National Electrical Code, which is the missing link to me in the difference between a good electrician and a great electrician. You can disagree. But that, to me, in in the concept of our creation, was that everybody can go out there and turn a screwdriver. Everybody I can teach to pull conduit, uh, run conduit, pull conductors. I can teach that process. And you're supposed to be able to establish that because the entry into the program is so high. In other words, you have to be a master electrician in your state or equivalent. So you already, we've already set the bar pretty high. It assumes that you have that skill and that knowledge as a master electrician. You've gotten your hands dirty. You put in the apprenticeship time or the, the, the time it takes as a journeyman to become a master or equivalent in your state. So 
that's we're giving you credit for that part of it. It's the mental part that we want to work on and make you a better electrician. So that when you do have conversations, when you do encounter other people, that you understand how to use the NEC, navigate the NEC, interpret the NEC, and we give you a support structure to be able to reach out and have help from us here at corporate. Um, so that's the concept of the, of the program, right? To make better electricians. Now, I also think about it, if you're Masonic, and, and you know, there's probably a lot of Masons out there. If you're Masonic, you have you know, a lot of these different levels that you have to go through, entered, apprenticed, fellow craft, and then, you know, master. Um, we kind of feel the same concept. And, and, and when it comes to masonry, we're making better men, right? That's the whole goal. We're, we're trying to make better men through the process. And when it comes to the CMECP, it's kind of the same thing. It's the next level above master electrician. Now, Getting back to the benefit, because you know I have tons of people over the years, whether they're on, you know, online forums or, or people who want to bash something that don't understand it because they have low self-esteem in themselves, that they probably couldn't make it through the program. And I get it; it's a tough program, and I get it. You 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 don't understand it, so you probably couldn't pass it, and it would make you feel inferior. Um, and, you know, since a lot of you probably are all over social media posting things that are incorrect, but if you got into our program, you would be exposed and people would see that you don't know what you think you know. Whereas, and I get that, but normal electricians, normal master electricians that really care about their future, don't judge it that way. They look at it as a way to increase their knowledge. Education is king. We're always trying to learn. We're always trying to expand our knowledge. I tell people all the time, if I can gain a little bit from somebody, that's why I watch other people. That's why I always take other classes and, and listen to other educators and love going to conferences where I can hear other people talk because we all can build our knowledge base. We all don't know everything, but other people may know some tidbit of something that I don't know, and I want to learn from that person. So we're always expanding. I listen to everybody. I try to pull what I can from everybody. And my 38 years of teaching and being involved in the industry, that is what led me to come up with the concept of what's the next thing for an electrician other than get your master? How do I separate myself from the guy next door or across the street? Or in, when I'm working in a job and, and I'm trying to advance my career, I'm trying to get to the next level, how does my boss, how does my supervisor, how do they know that I'm committed to this thing? And so that's what the CMECP program is all about. Now, when it comes to benefits, um, I mean, other than the benefits of being in our program where you can get discounts, okay? So there's a benefit program we have, uh, a, a, a buyer's group that we have for our members. I mean, other than that, I mean, that's just monetarily something. What do you get out of it? What's the benefit? One, you get the enhanced knowledge. Or if you're already very intelligent in the far as the NEC is concerned, you're getting confirmation of that knowledge. We also work on your time management because you do have to complete it in four months. Um, and you have to maintain 80% uh, throughout the program. To, uh, you have to pass every exam with an 80% or higher. Um, you have to do the proctored exam at 80% or higher. Uh, and you have to get the thumbs up from your peers, your uh, other CMECP members, uh, on your essay. So, I mean, there's a high levels that you have to meet to get from point A to point B. And, uh, and some people can't handle that. Uh, but I tell people, you have absolutely nothing to lose uh, in trying to enrich yourself. As far as the benefits go, again, I tell people all the time, I'm like, we make no promises for anything. And, and you shouldn't expect that. And there's no certification out there whether you get something from NFPA or you get something from IAEI or you get something from IEC, the certifications are all voluntary. It's different than licensure. It's how you use that certification, whether you're propping it up for a resume or you're propping it up for a promotion or you're trying to show somebody that you are truly an expert at something. You gotta remember today, anybody can go on social media, create a website, uh, Go, or go on the internet, and they can set, they can portray themselves as an expert. They can call themselves 
an NEC expert or whatever, and there's they have no pedigree to get to that point. They just say, "Well, I've been doing this for 30 years, 25 years," but they got they have no really validation for what they do. They have no third party validation for that. They just have a license. Now, as we've seen on social media, any master electrician can quote something and put it on or copy something and put something on on online. But what we find in the comments is that they really don't know what they're talking about. But you're spreading misinformation and false information to everybody and they make themselves out as NEC experts. Now, an NEC expert is not somebody that simply just can quote all of the code. Nobody knows all of the code. You know, it's there's so many pieces that we forget. We might have an understanding of it, how to convey it, how to teach it, but it's like anything. It's a diminishing skill. If you don't teach something, the same thing over and over and over again, then you can start to lose it. And again, the, the NEC has so many areas in it that many people don't work in. But what an NEC expert, if there is such a thing, can do is take somebody's question, break it down, do the research, and provide them with a substance type of answer. Give them something that they can rely on as researched. Um, so it's not just a knee-jerk comment. Now, sometimes experts code people have answered questions over and over again, so it's easy for us, right? We've answered it thousands and thousands of times, so we can rattle off something. But a lot of any see true experts actually do more consulting. In other words, I consult to, to legal firms, lawyers, uh, other people, and if they ask me any see questions, I am never going to knee jerk it based on that. I'm going to all still, whether I think I know the answer or not, I'm going to research it. I'm going to dig deep into it to make sure that the answer that I give them is a real, definitive, clear-spoken answer. That's what an NEC expert is. It's not just somebody that goes on social media, not somebody that just... Buy. And so what we're trying to do with the CMECP is create those NEC experts, those people that learn how to read something, learn how to break it down, our program takes them in and out of the NEC. They're tested on this knowledge, and they're already at a very high level. So the benefit of a program like the CMECP program is just confirmation of that effort, that work, that commitment that it takes to get to the next level. It's not going to be for everybody. We are not trying to... I think that's the biggest thing, and again, I, I get it. People judge people... Um, you know, I have no hatred for the people on, you know, Mike Holt's forum. There's some great guys over there. Other forums that are online. I don't, I can't remember all of them now. But, you know, they do a lot of judging of people. Um, but at the end of the day, they're the same people that won't get into the program. They're the same people that won't test their knowledge because they don't want to have others question them. Or have others know they have a weakness. Um, that's sad because I believe we all learn something new and everybody can learn from a structured development type of program. Uh, and the CMECP program is designed to um, establish what you should know and build on what you don't know. And it works on your time management. It helps make sure that you manage your time properly, that you um, go through some type of process where you're held accountable for that knowledge, all of those type of things are what the CMECP program is all about. And, you know, that is that is one of the critical components of it. It's not about what it can give you as far as, oh, I got a certification. It's going to mean instant money. Instant. No, it's a, a certification is how you use it because certifications are voluntary. So, again, whether you're using it to get a promotion, an advancement, whether you're trying to show your boss or maybe the certification, is you're, you work somewhere and you work with other electricians and you're like, I know more than them. I want to do something to show that. And you start using the acronym after your name. You earned it. It's a federally protected mark. You have every right to use it if you are a successful candidate and become a CMECP. Um, 
you put it on your resume. Now, there are creative ways when you're marketing yourself as a business. There is a, 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 always a need to be able to market yourself beyond your competition, make you stand out. And so, if I'm putting my seal, my CMECP seal, on my van, I'm putting it on my business cards. Uh, I'm putting it on my NFC cards. Um, I'm I'm using it everywhere. I'm literally putting that seal on everything that I do. Everything. And if I'm in a company, I'm going to lobby for the company to give credibility to the CMECP. Maybe try to talk to my peers and say, look, I did this. You need to accept this program uh, for like maybe a promotion or for a bonus. Again, you have to work it if you want it. We're not going to guarantee you anything. But what we can guarantee is that we'll give you a robust learning experience. We will document it. We will keep track of it. We will make it accredited to the point where anybody looks, asks you for validation. We're going to back you up. I mean, that's all we can provide with the program. Uh, the whole vision of the program was when I sat there uh, back in 2016, before we started the real process in 2017, and then got all our, our you know, our trademarks, um, in, the, in really developing it, we realized, one, it wasn't for everybody. Two, we don't want everybody. Okay? Um, we want those that really want to enrich themselves. It's not a gimmick. It is literally, you have, we're not giving you anything. Again, the success rate is very low. But it's because of the time management that usually people struggle with. Life just gets in the way. And you run out of time. We have a couple candidates now that are in the program that are almost out of time. There's no way they're going to finish. They've got too much left to do. And they've tried to do it here the last month, catch up. But they waited too long. Um, I can't have any, you know, sympathy um, or empathy, whichever is the proper one to use. I can't. Uh, because at the end of the day, it's on the candidate. It's not on me. We pretty much take a hands-off approach to it. You work through the program. We grade your work. We, you know, we can't give you the answers. Um, we don't, you know, you have to come to the conclusions and, and get the passing scores. We can't help you with that. So what you use it for, what benefits you achieve, I think too many people today want to say, what's in it for me? Other than realizing the bigger picture, the bigger picture or outside of the box mentality is how can I use this certification? How can I use the process, the, the checks and balances, the um, credibility of our corporation? We've been around for a long time. People that said years ago, they were like, oh, well, Paul's corporation won't stick around. They won't be around people. We have been around now. We're not, we're not a flash in the pan. I've been around for 38 years. You, you, If you Google me, love me or hate me, I'm out there. I'm very outspoken. So when I put myself behind something, I mean it. And people say, well, it's Paul doing a money grab. Really? Did you go look at the program? Have you asked any of our CMECPs if I have ever charged them a renewal fee yet? It's not about the money. It's about, personally, to me, it's my legacy it is what I want to be remembered for, and I'm working hard. And it's hard to create a certification program because, again, you would love to have other associations join you, partner with you. Um, but it, it's a tough road, and we keep continuing it. We're not going anywhere. Um, we've got special uh, incontestabilities on our marks now. We're proud of that. But at the end of the day, we need our CMECPs to help us. They need to be pushing it. We need spokesmen for the program all over the place. Uh, and that's why we hope that our CMECPs openly use the mark, that they tell other people about it, they explain their experiences in it, um, they understand the true fundamentals of it, the core concepts of it, what we're trying to achieve with it. Um, and again, if they don't buy into that, they do not have to stay as CMECPs. They can move on. We don't want you in the program if that's how you feel. So... It's a passion of mine. It's a legacy that I want to live on, live on beyond me, if that's such a thing. I would hope that, you know, I tried to get somebody in place to carry this on, but the board just, uh, you know, wanted me to stay on as the executive director. That's fine. 
At some point, I would like to step away and have somebody fill those shoes that I feel could help take this to the next level. Uh, and it's all for master electricians. That's the whole concept. It's for master electricians. So anyway, that's kind of a little bit of it. Um, the benefits, again, are what you get out of it. You can like it or not like it. If you hate it, I encourage you to try it, um, you know, because at the end of the day, you're only going to enrich yourself. And again, certifications are all only good is what you use them for and what you do with it. Okay? And it's a self-improvement. That's the goal. All right, folks, till next time, stay safe. God bless. Everybody have a wonderful 4th of July. And uh, we will catch you in another upcoming mobile Master the NEC podcast.